In Exodus chapter 23, Moses is being given laws regarding justice, the Sabbath, and the annual feasts, as well as instructions on taking the land of promise. Regarding the law of the Sabbath, here's what we see in Exodus chapter 23, verse 12. Six days you shall do your work, and on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your donkey may rest, and the son of your female servant and the stranger may be refreshed. So the weekly Sabbath day provides rest. Under the Jewish law, we're to work for six days and then rest on the seventh day. For believers in Christ, the Sabbath is never repeated in the New Testament as a law. In fact, the Apostle Paul makes it clear that we're no longer under the law. However, there is a timeless truth that does apply, and that's the cycle of work and rest. We're to work hard and periodically rest. Those who work all the time tend to burn out, and those who rest all the time when they could be working tend to become lazy and to face scarcity. Work is needed. It gives us the opportunity to be productive and to provide for our needs. Adam had a job before the fall, that of tending the garden. Thus, work at its core is a good thing. So work is needed. In addition, rest is needed as well. It restores us physically, and it restores us spiritually, as we reflect upon the goodness of God and as we worship Him. We need both work and rest. In the New Testament, Jesus is ultimately our Sabbath rest. Under the New Covenant, which is based on grace, unmerited favor, we need not work for God's favor. We find rest in Christ. Here are some application questions for believers in Christ. Are we observing a cycle of work and rest in our lives? Are we working too hard? Or are we resting too much? When we rest, are we taking time to worship God and to thank God? And the last question is this. Are we resting in Christ, not striving for God's favor, but receiving God's favor? In our lives, may we cultivate a healthy balance of work and rest. Thanks for listening.